I think teachers today have to make use of technology a lot more in order to keep the students engaged. Um, we have to move away from teacher talk and teacher-centered um, lessons. Uh, lessons have to be more visually exciting, um, from showing video clips to you know, uh, PowerPoint presentations um, and even using games. A lot of kids these days are gamers, they play a lot of games and um, games-based learning is something that's becoming um, pretty important in education today. One of the key things about games is their engagement, of course. Um, games offer a kind of a hard fun, or good games at least, offer what we, we call hard fun, which is not too easy, not too challenging. Um, game designers in the commercial world aim for that kind of engagement, and good teachers aim for that kind of engagement too, that you're trying to offer people just the right amount of challenge uh, that they can cope with. So there's an awful lot in common between games and lessons. In 2007, PlayWeb was uh, approached by the Ministry of Education here in Singapore to start uh, to work on the Future Schools project. The idea was to see what the future of education would look like. And one of the things that they were really interested in was the use of games in the classroom. Games offer students the chance to take on different identities, to act as scientists or explorers or inventors. Games allow kids to be immersed in the learning. So rather than the, listen to the teacher go on about um, various facts or theories, the students can actually go into a virtual world and live it. Games can model different situations and processes that are just too complex or too inaccessible for students to see in other ways. I imagine many different kinds of games coming out of 3D Hive. I can imagine adventure games in chemistry or mathematics. I can imagine mystery games that completely change your purview or your experience of history. I can imagine uh, many kinds of team-based multiplayer games that examine the concepts of leadership, ethical reasoning, teamwork, and a whole lot of other skills that go into making 21st century learning. Games offer the chance for students to look at the different consequences of different actions, so in effect kind of run the simulation lots of different times, um, which is very, very important, kind of authentic and meaningful lessons. One of the big problems is that many teachers are not gamers themselves and they don't really see the learning potential in games. Um, but studies and research have shown that games can offer um, a lot uh, in education. A lot of teachers think that games are a waste of time maybe, um, they are addictive, they promote violence, uh, they make their teenagers angry. Um, so I think teachers need to change their mindset, they need to be educated, they need to be trained. Sure, teachers have a huge amount to contribute to building learning games. Um, they're effectively experienced designers already uh, with their experience making lessons and planning kids' experiences from the beginning of learning something to the end of learning something. And they know better than anyone what happens in the classroom, what the students find engaging and what they don't. 3 was a large community of practice of teachers who are already using it in various different subjects for various different kinds of learning. It uh, has a lot of support built in for new teachers who want to get in and start to experiment with using play in the classroom. They can actually um, leverage the wealth of experience that's available in the hive uh, in the form of case studies or examples that have been built by many different teachers. When you've got lots of other people around, it's not scripted, it's, it's a kind of a live, always changing kind of experience, which is incredibly valuable from a learning point of view. We have some case studies, we have uh, simulation games um, that we normally use to help again um, build learning but at the same time make it more interactive. And something I find really interesting is the idea that students themselves might learn an awful lot from creating games. So being an author of a game gives you the chance to demonstrate a very deep understanding of a principle. You really have to know your subject well to make a good game of it and I think that would be a very powerful way for 3D Hive to be used in the classroom. To a lot of people, 3D Hive is like a little camera recorder that you can take anywhere and make quick and rough games really quickly on the fly. 3D Hive can be like YouTube. It's a place where teachers and students and parents and everybody else can quickly make games and share it uh, for other people to play and try out. 3D Hive can also be like a laboratory where you try out your ideas before you actually make something that you want to use in your classroom. One of the strengths of 3D Hive is it's quite versatile like that. There's not really one right way, one correct way to use it. I think the, the big benefit I see of 3D Hive is that it's easily scalable. It's very quickly accessible, just given its nature of being on the cloud. 
um, easy to get to. Um, I think the ability to have um, the point and click, plug and play type of structure does enable us to develop new and different um, modules that we want to incorporate into our training module. Being on Azure has really transformed our platform. I think it's been kind of like a metamorphosis. We've gone from a caterpillar that could only go to a few schools at a time to this beautiful butterfly that actually we all over the world in many different schools in many different countries. And one of the most exciting things about being in Azure was the fact that we could actually switch on schools in Australia and in the US very easily. And it didn't need for us to start thinking about our database differently or thinking about our billing differently or anything like that. So, you know, bandwidth is not an issue. All of those things, I think, make uh, this move to Azure a really transformative one for 3D Hive. It's been built with the cloud backend, which means that you're looking at collaboration across schools and across regions, as well as just between players and classes. 3D Hive is built on the powerful Unity platform which means that it can go on the iPad, the Android, the Windows machine, on Mac, and all across, on all of these platforms, teachers can actually put their games without having to make individual exports for any one of these platforms. So it's quite a unique experience. We are also going for a cross-platform gaming experience where half your class may be on Android, another half may be on the iPad, um, and the system will work seamlessly.